that we have k to the power of six equals two to the power of six the let's have the solution so from here let's have a to the power of m to be equals b to the power of m so far they have the same power this implies that a equals b obviously from here we can say k equals two but i must tell you that the value of k of the solution for the k is more than two so now let's see we have k to the power of six minus two to the power of six to be equals zero from here to so get another possible solutions then from here we can have k we can simplify six as two then multiply by three we give us six minus two to the power of two times three we also give us six everything equals zero then we have to recall that when we have a to the power of m times n from the law of indices this can be simplified to be equals a to the power of m then again and parentheses to the power of n that means we interchange the power equals a to the power of n and parentheses to the power of m so by applying it here we are going to have this to be k to the power of three and parentheses to the power of two three times two will give us this back two to the power of three and parentheses to the power of two then we still have this to be equal zero and this is a perfect square now, the difference of two squares says when we have a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 equals open parenthesis a plus b, we close it, multiply by a minus b. Where we are going to have our a from here, making the comparison will be k to the power of 3, then our b will be equals 2 to the power of 3. Then when you substitute this one here, we are going to have k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 in parenthesis, multiply by k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 in parentheses then will be equals 0 then from here for this expression to be equal 0 is either we have k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 will be equal 0 or we have k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 to be equal 0 meaning that let's take this to be the case 1 recall that when we have k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 that equals 0 we simple as if when you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 sum of 2 keep this equals as when we have a plus b in parentheses multiplied by a square minus a b plus b square so from here making the comparison our a will be equals k then our b will be equals 2 substitute everything here set it to be equal zero so we are going to have k plus two in parentheses from here multiply by a is k then here will be k square minus two k a is k b is two so we have minus two k here will be two square because our b is two everything equals zero here will be k plus two in parentheses multiply by k square minus two k plus four in parentheses to be equal zero so from here is it have k plus 2 equals 0 or we have k square minus 2k plus 4 to be equal 0 so from here we have k to be equals minus 2 you can see we have k to be equals minus 2 from the previous one we have k to be equals 2 so from here we have k to be equals minus b positive or negative root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a we have to use quadratic formula to get the positive value of k from here because we have the power of k to be 2 now parameter a will be equals 1 b the coefficients of k minus 2 well our c will be equals 4 when you plug in everything here then we are going to have k to be equals here will be minus outside minus 2 positive or negative minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 4 multiplied by a is 1 c is also 4 then all divided by 2. So from here we have k to be equals minus times minus will be plus 2. Positive or negative root of this. Negative will turn to plus to positive from here because of this 2 is even. This 2 to, to the power of 2 will give us 4. Here will be 16 divided by 2 equals 2. Positive or negative root of 4 minus 16 will give us minus 12 divided by 2. So from here we have k to be equals 2 positive or negative root of 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by or we can have it here to be multiplied by root of minus 1 divided by 2 
But we have to recall that root of minus 1 equals i from the compass number. So we have k to be equals from here to positive 4 negative root of 4. 4 is a perfect square. This will give us to root 3 i then divide by 2. So when we divide 2 by 2 here will be 2 divide by 2 positive 4 negative 2 root 3 i divide by 2. So here will be k equals 2 we cancel 2 we have 1 positive 4 negative this we cancel this we have root 3 i. So we also have k to be equals minus 2. It must not be inside by mean. So recall that when we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 equals as a minus b and parities multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square. Where we have our a to be equals k, then our b to be equals 2. When we substitute it here, we are going to have k minus 2. Here will be k square plus 2k plus 2 square, then equals 0. So we have k minus 2 in parentheses. Here will be k square plus 2k, then plus 4 equals 0. So from here we have k minus 2 to be equals 0 from here, or we have k square plus 2k plus 4 to be equals 0. So from here we have k to be equals 2. This justifies the previous solution because k is equal to k equals 2. This k equals minus b positive or negative root of b square minus 4ac then divided by 2a. So from here we have parameter a to be equals 1, b to be equals 2, c equals 4. So when we substitute everything here, we are going to have k to be equals minus outside here is 2, here minus 2 positive or negative root of 2 square minus 4 a is 1 c is 4 then divide by 2 times 1 so we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of this will give us 4 this will give us minus 16 4 times 1 is 4 times 4 will give us 16 so divided by 2 so this will be minus 2 positive or negative root of minus 2 divided by 2 so we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 3 times 4 will give us 12 multiplied by root of minus 1 divided by 2. Note that when we have root of minus 1 equals i. So from here we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative. This is a perfect square to a 4. Then here will be 2 multiplied by root 3i divided by 2. So dividing through by 2 here will be 2 divided by 2, positive or negative, then 2 root 3i, then divided by 2. So we have k to be equals minus 1, positive or negative, root 3i. This is a complex solution. Recall that the first one, we have k to be equals 1, positive or negative, root 3i. This one is minus, here is plus 1. Here is minus 1. That is the difference. And we also have, for this, we have k to be equals minus 2. Sorry, we have k to be equals 2. From here, we have k to be equals minus 2. These are the real solution. Why these are the complex solution? Why is it complex? Because of this i. Bye-bye.